what's up guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video we're starting this video inside a castle i keep calling it a castle but it is just a massive massive mansion house if you follow my vlog channel you might have seen it a few weeks ago me and sylvia were having a look around the outsides and we found a way in well we're here now guys we've come back and we're going to explore the inside of the building as you can see i'm in here let's get straight into it let's go ceiling up there. This place is pretty awesome. People outside. careful of the floors up here because some of them have actually fall through I think over this side of the house Thank you. 
Sky Sirens. We're not really in the middle of nowhere, but we're not really near any cities or towns even. So around about 10 to 15 years ago, there was a really old man, elderly man, who lived in this, I can only describe it as a castle, it pretty much is a castle. sirens are getting louder. I'm not entirely sure where it happened but he was tied up. He was threatened with I think knives and guns and he robbed the house. They also beat the man. He survived the attack. He actually managed to get over to a glass bottle that was on a table nearby and the guy actually managed to take a piece of that glass and free himself from the chair where he was tied up. I don't think the man were ever caught and sadly the man did die not long after. Really unfortunate for a man of his age, I believe he was in his 80s. I don't like this bit of floor here. It's not really safe. Just gotta do what you've gotta do. The building itself was actually built in 1830, which makes it just under 200 years old. I keep calling it a castle, I'm not sure if it is actually classed as a castle or just some sort of mansion with a castle theme. in such a bad way now because as a person's house I could imagine it would be really well looked after. Amazing building, so many rooms, I mean there must be, if all of the upstairs has been used as bedrooms there must be about 12 bedrooms. The place is massive. Yeah we could hear the sirens earlier as I mentioned and then they just seem to get louder and louder and I'll be honest I was too busy filming to even think about it. When I was in, it was just them rooms there. Is that, that window just behind the bush? And I mentioned that I could hear them. I was just with Sylvia and then Craig come upstairs and just mentioned the fact that the sirens are getting pretty loud. I'm gonna just stay outside for 20 minutes or so, maybe go back in, but the police could actually come to this building if they needed to, in the car. But the sirens have completely gone off now. Looks like they've done some renovation here. Because it's old now, but it's still freshly plastered. There's a camera there, another sensor. Wow. Look at that 
lives. Mount Roof is amazing. Even the detail on that door. Looks like someone's tried to kick it open. That's marble. Look at that. Wow. Looks like it used to be like a shield or something on here. There's one on the side of the door. Maybe something was held on there like a you know like some, something similar to that beard thing on there I'm thinking there's definitely something on there that's been taken I can imagine this is the room where most of the antiques were pictures on the walls and all sorts I mean look at big uh, screw in the wall there so it could have been big pieces of artwork stuff all around the guy was robbed had everything taken No floor. There's something else there. Look. Something very similar to what I was thinking, like a wooden shield. This is quite a bizarre room. Very small, strange type of room. talking about these um, sensors earlier outside but there's no wire to that at all I've checked the back of it and there's no wire going into it it's weird I feel downstairs feels more sinister than upstairs that's moving that's moving that is moving Guys, oh, I've gone cold. That's moving on top. It's moving just slightly now. It's almost stopped. Downstairs feels creepy guys, trust me. I feel so creeped out down here. Upstairs doesn't feel too bad. I'm down here on my own right now. My friend Greg, he's gone upstairs. Sylvia's waiting outside because she's turned out lie down a bit. Sometimes places like this can make her feel like she's gonna get a headache or feel a bit sick. Very dusty, very damp. And obviously that sense of panic always adds to it. We did hear sirens earlier. I'm down here completely on my own, but I feel so much weirder down here than I did upstairs. Upstairs feels completely fine. Down here I feel like I'm being watched, I feel like I keep seeing shadows. I keep hearing things. That thing's just been moving on its own. Violently, it's the only way I can describe it.
Ausdrücken zu ihrer sozialen Denkung. So I'm going to go ahead and conclude this video, guys. Can't see a thing where I'm going because I've got the lights on my face. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and finish this video off. If you've enjoyed this one, please drop a like down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Go check out my vlog channel. If you want any merch, any Explore Beyond merch, check out the link in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in the next one.